Project 2025, a clear and present danger to seniors. All right, folks, buckle up. From potential cuts to social security to the looming threat of increased healthcare costs, Project 2025 reads less like a policy roadmap and more like a dystopian novel where the elderly are forced to fight over the last can of prune juice. So let's break down the potential impacts because frankly, someone needs to before we all end up eating cat food in our golden years. Let's start with the big one, shall we? Social security, that safety net that millions of Americans rely on might as well be dangling over a pit of crocodiles wearing a meat suit under Project 2025. Some proposals within this so-called plan suggest reducing social security benefits, delaying the retirement age, or even making cuts to pensions. It's a recipe for financial instability, increased poverty rates, and a whole lot of seniors struggling to make ends meet. Imagine having to choose between your medication and, I don't know, keeping the lights on. Reduced spending by seniors means a hit to the economy. Jeopardizing the financial security of millions of seniors is not the answer. Okay, so maybe you're thinking, well, at least we'll have decent health care in our twilight years. See, Project 2025 also throws a wrench into the already complicated machinery of health care, particularly for seniors. We're talking about policies that could reduce access to Medicare, Medicaid, and other vital health care programs. Higher health care costs? You bet. Reduced coverage? Absolutely. The struggle to afford necessary treatments, medications, or long-term care? Oh, you better believe it. It's a vicious cycle that benefits no one, except maybe those who profit from people being sick. Healthcare is a tangled web of bureaucracy, insurance companies, and pharmaceutical giants, all vying for a piece of the pie. Chapter 3. Privatizing Medicare and Medicaid. Because who needs affordable health care? Anyway, hold on to your dentures, folks, because it's about to get bumpy. Project 2025 also flirts with the idea of privatizing Medicare and Medicaid. Privatizing these essential programs means handing over control to private insurance companies, whose primary goal is, shockingly, to make a profit. This translates into a financial strain for millions of older adults already living on fixed incomes. They'll be faced with impossible choices, pay for healthcare or put food on the table, heat their homes or afford their medications. Healthcare is a basic human right, and turning it into a profit-driven enterprise is like selling tickets to the lifeboat on a sinking ship. Chapter 4. The Rising Tide of Inflation Drowning in the Cost of Living So, let's say you manage to navigate the minefield of social security cuts and healthcare hurdles. Well, don't get too comfortable because Project 2025 has one more trick up its sleeve inflation. It's the steady increase in the cost of goods and services which might not seem like a big deal unless you're living on a fixed income. We're talking about the erosion of purchasing power for essentials like housing, food, and utilities. When coupled with the other potential consequences of Project 2025, it becomes a recipe for disaster a perfect storm of economic hardship for those who can least afford it. Chapter 5. Social Services on Life Support When Help is Just Out of Reach Project 2025 also proposes cuts to these vital programs, the very programs that provide a lifeline for millions of older adults. We're talking about programs like home care, transportation services, and food assistance programs. Cutting these programs is like taking away the crutches from someone who just had knee surgery. Seniors will experience a reduction in their quality of life and independence, leading to increased isolation, health decline, and, ironically, a greater need for more expensive institutional care. Balancing the budget on the backs of seniors is not just bad policy. It's morally reprehensible. So there you have it, Project 2025 in all its terrifying glory. It's crucial that we, as a society, consider the long-term consequences of such short-sighted policies. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more in-depth analysis, because trust me, there's a lot more where that came from.